Guys, uh, Bound Sports are continuing right here, right now. We are having the coach of the Super Eagles, Garnet Raw, right here uh, with us. Coach, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you very much. We had a good beginning of the year, and now we come and watch some games in Nigeria. Okay, right here you've seen um, MFM against uh, uh, Rangers International. I mean, what is your experience like? Yes, you know, I have to see some league games. The league didn't play for a long time. They started now in January, so uh, with my assistance, we try to see a lot of games and have a watch about the general level of the football here in Nigeria. It's this interesting game because MFM has a good team and uh, the Rangers are playing in uh, Confederations Cup, so it's interesting to see what they are doing. It's the first match, I think, for them in the league. So it's interesting to see uh, if they can win a game also in the league. But it's not easy because I see that uh, MFM has still a good team. So uh, yes, and with my assistants, we try to see other games. Imama is uh, today watching another one and uh, next weekend also. So we have to see uh, what's happening here and all the time to say search for a good new player. Okay, uh, nice one. Uh, we, 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 I'm, I'm sure you must have heard about uh, you know violence in the game since uh, just three games so far in the league. The first game uh, there was uh, attack on referee. The second game uh, a coach was kidnapped. The third game referee was attacked. Uh, does this bother you about the Nigerian league? Yes, it is a big problem of violence uh, around the football. So I only can uh, ask to all the people to be a fair play to play football. It's such a wonderful game that. Uh, it's not the moment, it's not the place to make violence. We have to respect uh, not only the rules, but also the people, the opponents, the referees, and the football. So let's play football. We have a wonderful spirit in our national team. And uh, I think they're giving a good example for fair play and for fighting. But the violence is not good and the supporters and the fans must really be able to follow the football without violence. Okay, coach, we know that uh, you have submitted your programs for the Africa Cup of Nations uh, to the NFF. Uh, can you uh, let us into what your programs look like ahead of the Africa Cup of Nations 2019? Yeah, now in the moment we are still uh, watching the players. We have a lot of work to do also with our assistants in Europe to see the games. They didn't stop in England and they started very early in the other countries. Even if it's cold, cold now, they are, they are playing. So uh, yes, it's a moment to monitor our players to see if they are fit, to have some news also from our injured players like uh, Tyron, who's playing in Benfica, starting the training again like Ahmed Musa, who has a little injury in the moment. So we are following what they are doing. We have in our spirit, our program all the time is to improve the level of the Super Eagles and to respect what they are doing in the clubs. All is going through the clubs. If they are playing well in the clubs, they have a chance to come and to be a part of our next selection, which will be in March, end of March, against Seychelles and the second friendly against Egypt. Okay, um, John Obi Mikhe, your captain, uh, has not been playing for quite uh, some time now. He is no more in Tianjin. Uh, news today said he just uh, joined the Middlesbrough. Uh, do you still hope to keep uh, Mikhe as a playing captain or you just want to leave him on the bench? Oh, we are very happy that uh, our captain is now in a, a good club and I hope that he will play very often to find the rhythm again. And uh, we will be watching him, we, will, we stay all the time in contact with all our players and of course with him also. Since the World Cup, uh, our team did uh, very well, we won uh, nearly all the games. And uh, so he has to be very fit, but I think he will work on it. And uh, if he's playing well in the club, it's like, like for the other players who want to play with us, who have the motivation to come with us, they have to do well in the club. And then there's a chance to come back and uh, we would be happy to see him back. And I think uh, it could be a wonderful uh, dream from uh, Obi Mikkel to come and to win the AFCON with Nigeria. Okay, um, finally uh, from me, uh, you, you have uh, two games in March 
um, against uh, Afcon qualifiers against Seches, inconsequential game of course because Nigeria has already qualified, and of course uh, against Egypt. Uh, Egypt is hosting the Africa Cup of Nations. So how would you approach those two games in March? I already hope that we can play in good conditions and uh, that we will have a good pitch, that we'll have a good preparation. It's already the preparation, so we have to be very careful to give the best conditions to the players without any injuries and without the possibility to play our good football. We have now uh, in this team a good collective spirit and uh, I think uh, we have to develop it more and to improve our level of collective football. We have quick wingers, we have, uh, we have uh, playmakers, we have uh, good defenders. I hope also that uh, the people who were injured the last time will come back. And then uh, it's a preparation. The match against Seychelles is not easy because everybody believes that it will be easy and we will win it easily. That is uh, dangerous. It's a trap sometimes. And Egypt is one of the best teams in Africa. And uh, I think we will have very good conditions in Egypt for the AFCON with good pitches, with big stadiums, good light, all these things. And uh, so we would like to receive them also in good conditions. And of course, to improve, to test some players we, he had, uh, who, have, who need really to, to have uh, playing time. And uh, so many of them are coming since the World Cup. They need to play, we need to see them. And if we have the opportunity to found and to test a new one, why not? The next uh, weeks will show it. My name is Taribo West, an ex-player of Super Eagles Nigeria. Uh, there are so many areas where you can reach out for news, but there is a news that is very special. Download Bounce News Hub. Join Gallo. He's not, he's not in any club currently now. And the Nations Cup is by the corner. What do you have to say about his, him? A sweetness ahead of the Nations Cup, Ojo Igalo. Which player? Ojo Igalo. Igalo. Odeon Igalo. Yes, so uh, it's the same, you know. He, they have a big uh, stop in winter time in China. They even did not start. And uh, he has still his contract in his club, so he could not play. But I think he wants also to come back to Europe. And uh, he's trying in the moment to negotiate a new contract. I think it will be in England or in Turkey or something. So uh, we will watch it also. I hope that he can play again regularly in a good club. It's like for all other players, they have to play. They have to be fit. They have to play well. And they have to play uh, very often in the clubs to be fit with us. But he did so well in the national team in the last games that we really hope that he will come back very soon. Uh, we have two players playing in uh, Spanish league now. They are doing well. We have Samuel Chukweze, and we also have uh, uh, Omeogo now that is, is, is ahead of all that. In, so what are their chances in Super Eagles now? Two yes, players, yes yeah, yeah. Now. You, you see that uh, Chukweze and Omeogo are already a part of our team. When I invited Chukweze last time, a lot of uh, people were surprised. But I know that he has a lot of quality. He's showing them now these qualities. And Omaruo also in a special defense with three central defenders all the time. He's doing well. And uh, we played also like that in Johannesburg against uh, South Africa with Omaruo. So yes, uh, these players are in a very good uh, league in Spain. We have also uh, Simon Moses who is coming back. He played a good match against Barcelona last day. We have also a look on him. We have a little problem with um, our goalkeeper, Uzoho, because his club bites another goalkeeper. So uh, I would like to, to see him playing and not be number two in the Spanish second league. That's why he's working, I think, on a loan somewhere in Europe to play regularly. But the level in Spain is very high, so we're happy to have some players there to play very well.